Yes, it's a vastly different Adelaide lineup to what we've seen previously, particularly at the front end. Riley O'Brien, too, of course, is now the number one ruckman. And uh, with Sam Jacobs' departure. Pretty. O'Brien, you'd think he'd have the edge over Wiedemann in terms of the ruck. Atkins, who's got the Sean look, gets it down towards full forward and Lever. Sloan to Atkins, five out to Hamble, and as you saw, he missed Himmelberg by a mile. And that gives the chance for the Demons in Salem. Christian Salem, but an opportunity to put one through early in the year. And it was right through the middle, unfortunately, of the goal putt. Possessions, and I suspect about 80% of them have been in the back 50, and there's another turnover. And the exit kick's been appalling so far. It sets up Jones, who blasts away and blasts it right through. And Melbourne get the first of the day. Done like Richmond have done for uh, so long now. And we're seeing in the first five or six minutes, Adelaide just incapable of getting the ball through. Barrow fires out the handball. Jones, Petrarca, almost saw off the tackle, but didn't quite. There's some head contact there. So the free kick is going to Petrarca. Quickly. Into full forward and then beyond off the hand. So again on the bounce, McDonald eventually rounded it up effectively. Tomlinson fires away and just misses away. Start to line up Chase Jones. Now wearing number one, blasts away to full forward. Demons, lots of numbers around Himmelberg. Hibbert. Good forward pressure that time. He's going to be rewarded. Well, they're hot on it. Didn't really reach out and drag it in. It just sort of landed in his arms and he, he hung on to it. Well, he's plumb in front here. Should give Adelaide its first goal of the year. And that's what he's been able to do. Well done, the former Tiger, Tyson Stengel. He's going to hold up. And well judged. Superior judgment from that man, Jake Lever. Work situation, but that didn't eventuate. And then he had a shocking year with injury, but he's a fine talent. Matraka back to the square. Gibbs on the last line, and Spargo escorts him through. Don't think he has quite the cannonball effect as uh, Uncle Byron. Few have. Indeed. Melbourne lead by four. If you just join us, they have the breeze. Casey Fields in the first quarter. They dominated the start, but Adelaide have. Trucker breaks things open. Jetta with a setup kick. Brown the target. Negated by Talia successfully in the first part, but not in the second. He's a crafty player, Mitch Brown. And he kicks a very clever goal. Cost them nothing. I think he's a good pickup. Targeted recruit, wasn't he? He just gives you depth in the least number since 2014. Still averaged over a goal a game. Decides to go for the short pass. And it's effective this time. They're delighted with the way he's fitted into the Adelaide Crows so far. And they're happy with that as well as he kicks a goal. The first for him in Adelaide Colours. Melbourne's lead trimmed to four. Size packet last year. Being picked up only in March. Played the 12 games. Now Langdon with some space. What a luxury. He uses... All that he had on offer and bombs away. Brown goes toppling over. And he might get a free kick at the top of the square. And right there you saw why years. He had acres of space out there. And then the long kick forward puts pressure on the defenders. Should be a certain goal. Jordan Butts claiming he was the one that was interfered with. But it's on the board as a free kick and a second goal for Mitch Brown. The bounce wasn't perfect for him. Vandenberg with time to assess. And after that assessment, he goes to Brown. He might get another free kick. So Jason hasn't changed his <laughs> approach to football. As oh. Mitch Brown with his third kick. Should have been his third goal. He's Oliver. And the Demons are on their way. Oh, it was oh. set up. Brown, who didn't miss a beat there in the step. And charging through. Wins the footy. Well played, Mitch Brown. Oliver off the left this time. Kick. Adapted it well. Congestion. But he'd love to nail this one. 24-year-old entering his sixth season, so perfect in terms of demographic for the Demons as a recruit. His kicking has not necessarily been his strong push. So much was expected, and it's probably expected again. Petrarca had a big opening term. Nine disposals. Melbourne quick out of the blocks. The Crows able to get things back on more level terms in terms of the contest. Christian Petrarca nice and fired up. Under Paul Roos, six years ago. 
They started rebuilding under Ron Barassi, didn't they, Jerry? Back when you were there. There's a good grab from Billy Frampton. He's 14. And as Jay said, pl spent plenty of time forward in the SA. Eventually, the Ds can work it through the middle, although Paul Hockey was able to read the play. Opens up some possibilities through the middle of the ground. Murphy with a long bomb and a terrific strike from Lachlan Murphy. Kicks the first goal of the second quarter. Well, that's really good pressure by Adelaide, dragging the ball down. They nearly got a free kick a lot closer to... Versus Langdon. Oh, Cadham that was with the burst. Played his debut game last year. Gives this plenty. He's judged it pretty well with the breeze, and it's worked its way back for a goal. Chase Jones was trying to get on it. Instead, it was Nathan who had first look. Good follow-up, though, from Chase Jones. They move it forward straight out of the middle, and then the benefit of a push in the back. Vichier is another who has well, proven himself probably too good at SANFL, but hasn't yet been able to convert that to the... Launch a little handball off to Crouch. And now it's Wilson. Oh, and it's a 50-metre penalty. Runners up in the McGarry medal. Last year in the SANFL, he's kicked nice and high and straight. And they're kicking a goal. It's been a feature in this second term. Big time this year. Just keep an eye on Tomlinson. Puts the hands up. He's running away. That's a tough decision. It really is a tough decision. Murphy under siege initially, but oh, that's good pressure. That's a free kick, free too. kick too. Just shows you the importance, though, of those small forward roles now that high draft picks are being used on them. Pick it! Speaking of small forwards and high picks, flashing through. And that number 36 is one that I think is going to excite Melbourne fans very, very soon. Well, Nick Delzando made the call that he'll kick goal of the year or take mark of the year. That's just a little taste, a little banana, if mm. you don't mind. But we were just talking about that very thing and his breeze, so he doesn't blast. The handball not perfect, far from it. Pickett helped to clean it up. Dynamic, he's in everything at the moment. Dancing left, dancing right. And kicking right as well. Six. Now they're looking to see if they can notch another goal into the breeze. The fumble came from Viney. You can see how annoyed he was as he looked to rectify the situation. And he has because... So Viney... Give Melbourne back the lead. It's holding up as you'd expect. Well, then you're attacking 50. Well, I reckon if you're sitting at home and you're an Adelaide supporter, you'd be pretty happy with what you're seeing right now. Absolutely. And so many new faces. Look at that. And look at the kicking for goal from Big Himmelberg as well. Elliot Himmelberg joins the list. Langdon. To full forward. Is he going to come off the back? Tomlinson was ready to come in, but Petrarca beat him to it. Circling around Vandenberg. Jackson off the left. Brown, nice little release. And Petrarca didn't need the left foot, it seems. Could go in and have your 25 to 30, but have a dozen up forward. Put four or five tackles on, kick a couple of goals, set up three others. That impact to hit the scoreboard in the attacking 50 is so critical. And we heard Simon Goodwin say he'll spend more minutes in the midfield. But to me, he still looked... Wasn't as good as the last kick, it's fair to say. No, odd sort of run up too. Well, he played just two games in his first five, five seasons after what we saw last year at Riley O'Brien. Oh, wow. That's and a great kick. Kicking a goal continues to be outstanding. Just exceptional stuff. And it's amazing what we're seeing from a number of players that previously haven't had opportunities. Mm. Some, and, and you spoke about um, Riley O'Brien, Hutter, yep. all those years. 198 centimetres he's listed as. West Australian pick three. Some interference there. And it's going to Adelaide again. He's, it's a big ask for somebody who hasn't played that role. As we said earlier, injury hampered him last year. He had a calf injury. He never really got going. But he has some talent. Doesn't just...